Hey guys, what is up? I am back, and today I am playing Politics and War. So, on my Nation State series, I got a comment from one of you telling me about this game, Politics and War, and suggesting it, so I decided to give it a try. He said it was pretty much like Nation States, but better, so... Yeah, start playing. So, it looks like first we have to do, like, the account stuff, so I'll do that now and I'll be right back okay so I created my account and now we are ready to create our very own nation so yeah let's see what we can do so basically this is a and okay so there is some password stuff that I'm gonna wanna do off camera so I'll just do that last so nation name the new nation Okay, so pretty much this is a massive multiplayer game. So there's like a bunch of, uh, there's like actual war stuff, there's maps, there's, it's really logistical. It has a lot of logistics. And you get to really like run your country and implement like more specific tax policy and stuff. So if you're like a nerd who's interested in that kind of thing, then this is for you. Uh, yeah, so the dawn of a new nation. You have led your people to a great victory in the civil war against your mother country. Now that you have won secession and the right to establish your own autonomous government... Hmm. Excuse me. Your people are looking for guidance. What will you name this new nation? Okay. So, I actually already know what I want to name it. I want to name it Protosland. Protos means progress in Greek. And then land is obviously just land. And so, like, land of progress. And why Greek? The I just thought Protos sounded like a really cool name. So, yeah, that's why we're doing that. And then what will be the capital city name? I actually don't have a name for the capital city already picked out, so I need to think of one for that. Let's see. Okay, well, we're doing a Greek theme. So, maybe, let's see, what's a, which one of the Greek gods is cool? <coughs> oh. hmm. Anyways, which one of the uh, Greek gods is cool? We'll name it after one of them, maybe? Right, like, not Hades. Hades is, like, a cool guy, but not him. Um... A progressive, maybe Athena. But Athens is already a city. How about... Um... Hmm. We could name the new con the new capital... Well, I, I really, really don't know. Maybe we should name it after somebody. Who's somebody that I admire? Oh, you know what? I like Bernie Sanders. So we're going to name it Sanders... Uh, hmm, okay, grad, no, that's, that's a bit, um, hmm, how, what's like a good ending, how about New Sanders, yeah, okay, New Sanders is our capital city name, I like that, New Sanders, <laughs> okay, leader title, um, let's see, I think we'll go with President. So I'm going to be setting up a nation and actually try to lead it the way I would govern a nation in real life. It was up to me. I think leader title being president. I know it's kind of basic, but I think it's fine. Uh, and then leader name. Um, my name is Sam. So, and that leader name is available, apparently. Interesting. Well, I guess it should be my last name. So... I don't know. President Sam. That's fine, I guess. Or, you know what? Eh. Nah, President Sam is fine. Maybe President Samuel? How does nobody have the name Sam, but they have the name Samuel? Jeez. Okay, whatever. Um, government type. Oh, okay, so we have a bunch of different stuff we could choose from. Let's see. We have... Ooh, so much. Socialist, dictatorship, socialist, 
Social Democracy, Socialist Republic. I think Social Democracy is what we're going for. Yeah, Social Democracy. But yeah, we have a bunch of options here. We have Absolute Monarchy, Aristocracy, Banana Republic, Communist Democracy, Communist Dictatorship, Communist Monarchy, Communist Republic, Communist Theocracy, Communist Monarchy, yeah. And then Demogar Demarchy, uh, all this type of stuff. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to go for Social Democracy is what our government type is going to be. And then our national flag... I'm pretty sure we'll still be able to pick our own. Can we upload one? Actually, I already have one to use. Um, last of establishing a new nation to decide where the map is located. I guess we'll use the 13 colonies for right now. Uh, the new nation only has of land. You'll need to zoom in on the map and select a very small area to begin. For mobile use, recommend using the map full screen. All right. So we need to decide where on the map it is located. Interesting. Okay. So it needs to start small. Where do we want? Well, we did set it in Greece. But where's like a good prosperous region? Well, let's see. Maybe... Hmm. You know, I could do like... I could go Mediterranean. I kind of want to go Mediterranean. Maybe we'll do it like where Constantinople is. How big is... So only 250 square miles. Okay, no, can we... No, okay, that's not what I want. Um... Huh. Okay, so like there. And then... What? Is this... I'm confused on how to stake a claim. Um, wait, can I reset my map? Okay. So, how... I'm, like, having trouble working this. Hmm. Should we even be doing it here? You know, maybe, like, access to the world's oceans would be better. And maybe we could get another strategic trade spot? Hmm. I want some place where we can trade a lot. But also defend easily. Hmm. Maybe Gibraltar. Should I found? You know what? I'm gonna do it. And then I don't know how big 250 square miles is. Can I like? Uh huh. Interesting. Is that... Uh... Okay, yeah, I'm like... Is that... Did I do it? Is this my nation? I'm confused on how this map setup works. How much land can I claim? Because, like, it's not giving me... Like, too small an amount of land that I've claimed yet. Or, like, a too large amount. This is weird and confusing. Okay, wait. Because, yeah, like, I'm grabbing a bunch now. Way more than 250 square miles. And it's, like, still letting me do it. So, I don't know. I don't think it's going to stop. Total land, square miles... Okay, select continent, Europe, and then, yeah, okay, I'm having a lot of trouble with how this map is supposed to work. So, sure, we'll do it like, you know what, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it like just around like there then bring all of this crap down and just kind of do it like let me try to just take a reasonable portion of land here 
So just like that, like this, right? That's reasonable, I think. I don't think that that is too much to ask. So how about that? Create my nation? Oh wait, I need to do that. Okay, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay guys, our nation has been created. You have, sex you have six, six, successfully created your nation. Congratulations, you will now be able to manage and build your nation however you see fit. View our nation. Hey, you protos land, so I can change the flag, right? Okay. So, for some reason, so I ended up in France. Um, don't know how that happened. I have one city, New Sanders population. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff here. And then, how do I... Hmm. Okay. So, can I... What can I edit? I can edit the flag, right? Because I believe... And then... What is it called? Protoss land? I think this is the flag, yeah. And boom. That should... And, okay, I think if I just press save changes, it'll update, right? Right? I hope. There we go. Okay, yeah, so that's the flag that we're doing for Protoss land. I know, it's a bit on the communist-y side. Uh, I might take off the hammer and sickle. I just put that on because that was like the flag of my Protoslend account on my nation states. So yeah, but if I'm trying to do this more realistic, I think I should take off the hammer and sickle. Maybe. I don't know. We'll keep it on for now though. So yes, now we are in and we can actually do stuff. So let's see. Um, hmm. I don't even know where to start really. Let's try trade offer. Are you human? I sure hope so. Okay, create trade offer. Okay, so I can create a trade offer? National name, protos land, personal offer type, personal calculated price, average price of resource. Okay, so I can do so I can either get so what resources do I have I have coal and I have oil so maybe I can sell some coal maybe how many let me see if I can sell five coal see what happens um yeah price per unit. This is like really high quality coal though. So let me try to like upscale it a bit. <laughs> Offer personal price name protosland. Um sell. Yeah, no, that's not going to be accepted. Let me do it at the normal I guess I'll do it at the normal price, and we'll see if this gets accepted by anybody. Anyways, sell, sell, post sell offer. And, okay, so I actually need to verify my email before I can do that, which I have not done yet. Um, so let me do that real quick. Okay, well that should be all taken care of now. So, yeah, okay, so that's what the trade offer is. We can embargo, declare war, espionage, war activity, bank activity, trade activity. Let's check out policies. Okay, so your current rating is moderate for social scale, and then for economic scale, it's moderate. Okay, so here's what we're going. So your view social and uh, economically define your nation's laws and policies. Your answer to the following questions are not displayed publicly and only have role play effects in your nation. Only the overall result of the survey is shown on your nation page. Okay, so now we get to answer a bunch of political questions, and this is how I would run a country. So let's see how I would handle the issues. Cannabis. Can cannabis possession, distribution, and use is a serious crime in this country and is 100% illegal. Nope. Recreational is 
Okay, so we're going to make it as legal as possible. So, uh, recreational cannabis use is allowed for anyone over the age of 18. Yep, that's what we're doing. Mandatory service. Everyone upon reaching adulthood must serve in the nation's military for a set length of time. Um, military and community service encouraged to everyone upon reaching adulthood, but not mandated. The government is not allowed to force or encourage military community service to anyone upon reaching adulthood. Hmm. I mean, well, definitely we're not going to mandate it, but if we are small and we're going to be fighting against other countries, I think we might need to encourage it. I don't like it, but we're going to encourage it just because I think we need to this early on. Capital punishment. Uh, no form of capital punishment, including death penalty. It's legal. Capital punishment is illegal, but the death penalty is allowed in heinous crimes. Capital punishment, including death penalty, is legal in this country. No, nah, we're going to do no capital punishment. Secondary education. The government is not responsible for helping or aiding college students anyway. No, we'll offer. We will help pay for college. The government will offer students some special loans. Nope, the government will pay for the cost of education only for the nation's brightness. No, we're doing it for everybody. The government will ensure that secondary education is free and available to all students. That's what we're doing. I know, it's the socialist hellscape. So, yeah. And then prohibition. The possession, constitution, and sale of alcohol is legal for adults in this country. Yeah, it's legal. Energy. Okay, energy. The government supports oil and coal as the nation's top energy source. Pollution is not an issue. No, the, the nation strongly supports alternative energy sources in seeking to mitigate pollution. Yes, we are. Then, assisted suicide. Any and all forms of suicide are, of assisted suicide are legal in this country. Assisted suicide administered by doctors is legal in this country. Is that like euthanasia, which is like for critically, basically people that are like terminally ill? And are going to die soon and are just in pain and want to be like put out of their misery and yeah that's what that's for so yes we will allow that i think people have the right to die how they choose if it's in that situation obviously it's very different if it's a physically healthy individual that is just depressed or okay you get what i mean the point is suicide is a very serious issue um yeah, but I really can't get into all that right now. So, same-sex marriage. Any two adults have the right to get married regardless of their sex. Yep, same-sex marriage is legal. Unions, working unions are mandated by the government in a large business. Workers that wish to form are protected from losing their jobs. Employees are allowed to fire workers attempting to organize unions. Forming worker and unions is legal. All right, so we're going to do government. Worker unions are mandated by the government in large business. Yeah, we'll do that. The government cannot tell someone how they can or can't spend their money. Um, campaign finance. The government can only limit a corporation or union's donation to a campaign. The government can limit corporation, union, and individual donations to campaign. The government will pay and provide, pu and provide publicly funded elections. All private campaign donations are illegal. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep it all up front here, you know? Um... Actually, well, we could do some thing. Yeah, no, I think we'll make them all illegal. Uh, yeah. Then speech. There's no guarantee to free speech. All citizens are guaranteed the right to free speech by the government. Yeah, we'll guarantee free speech. And then hard drugs. Recreational use of hard drugs is not against the law. Yes, it's not against the law. We're not going to outlaw drugs. Uh, spending. Deficient spending is allowed and necessary sometimes. The government is not allowed to borrow money and must always maintain a balanced budget. Deficient spending is allowed and necessary sometimes, I think. Um, infant circumcision. Infant circumcision is illegal, but males can be circumcised by their, by their choice. Once adults, parents have the right to circumcise their infant boys if they choose. Okay, now we're getting into issues. Oh, boy. Now we're getting into interesting ones. Um... Huh, I don't, um, uh, I mean, I guess parents can circumcise their kids if they want, that's how it's done in the U.S., I don't have a problem, I don't see a lot of people having problems with it, so I think it's fine, 
immigration, any immigration into this country, is illegal? No, we're going to have nice, open immigration. The government accepts all immigrants and grants amnesty to illegal immigrants. The government allows as many immigrants as want to come to the country enter with no quotas. Um, the government will accept immigrants but sets hard quotas on how many can enter the country. So... Eh, I believe in free travel. Let's do it. Gun rights. Citizens are allowed to own and possess any and all weapons. No. Citizens can own most firearms, military-grade vehicles, and explosives are illegal. Citizens are only allowed to own a limited number of rifle firearms, but no handguns. Citizens are not allowed any firearms of any kind. Um, we'll go with citizens are not allowed to, are allowed to only own a limited number of rifle firearms and no handguns. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then religion. The government cannot endorse any specific religion, and there is a clear separation of church and state. Yes. We'll do, yeah, we're going to go with a strong separation of church and state. Healthcare. The government provides free healthcare to all citizens. Uh, yes, we're doing that. Polygamous marriage. Any number of consenting adults have the right to get married to govern to each together. Yeah, okay. Yeah, polyamorous is a thing. Taxes. There are no income taxes in this country. Revenue is generated through other methods. Um, the only income tax is a flat tax at the same rate for all citizens. A progressive income tax is used taxing lower class less than the upper class. The government only taxes the wealthy and redistributes through universal basic income. Let's go with that one. I like that one. So we are going to do that. And then torture. The government will not torture any individual for any reason. Yeah, let's not do torture. And then abortion. Women always have the right to choose an abortion at any point during their pregnancy. Yes. And then welfare. Any person in poverty is eligible for government welfare programs to provide for their basic needs. Any person in poverty is willing to do community service is eligible. Uh, okay, yeah. So we're going to make welfare as accessible as possible. And update policies. So social scale, we are being labeled as libertarian. And then economic scale, we are being labeled as left. So that is currently where we are at with that. Wait. Oh, did I make it? Wait, I just updated all these policies, though. What is it? I just updated these policies and like they're they're back to how they were. Wait, will this hold up? Hold up. Hold up. Let me go to edit and then go back to policies. And then why are the policies like reset? The policies are like Reset. That's weird. Why did these ones get reset? Huh. Mm, yeah, why did all these ones get reset? Okay, I click update policies and then I scroll down and they're still. Okay, yeah, uh, for some reason all my policies got reset. Okay, I think I need. Okay, I think I understand what happened. So I'm going to. Yeah, okay, so it's not about the individual questions, it just le gives me a scale on this thing here. So, I need to go and re-put in my policies, and then I'll, so I'll do that, be right back. Okay, well, I just re-put all my stuff in here, and I don't know what I put differently that got me from left to extreme left on my economic scale, but that is where we are, so yeah. Okay, so that was policies. So that's interesting. Now let's check out our cities. I know this is very long, but there's a lot to look at here. So we can build a new city if we want. Infrastructure 10. Can I like... Click on... Okay, so... Oh, our city doesn't even have power. So there's a city manager page? And then... Okay, so we only... Here's our city manager page. Can we make, like, decisions on how... Because it's clear our city kind of sucks here. 
right? Well, we have very low crime and no disease, but also we're only a thousand people and we're very small. So I don't know what I can do for my city right now. Um, interesting. Projects. What can I do for projects? National projects. Oh, okay, so there's a lot of different projects I can do. That's interesting. National projects are massive national improvements with huge costs and benefits. Each nation able to build one national project by default, but to enable the construction of further projects, you must have 5,000 infrastructure nationally per project slot. You can only build a new national project or city every 120 turns. Once built, you can destroy national project, but you do not receive any money or resources back. When you select the domestic policy technology advance, you receive a 5% discount on national projection costs. Okay. Um interesting so can we build something yet I don't think we have enough resources to build anything at all really um advanced urban planning armed stockpile center for civil engineering urban planning okay see so there's a lot of stuff we can invest in so I'll come back to that I think then revenue okay so we need revenue uh yeah, so we have per turn we get per day we get a thousand dollars. Okay, so that's not er huh. You're losing twenty thirty three percent of your gross income since you since you're not enough food to eat meat food demands to regain your full income. Okay, so can I buy some food? And how can I buy food? I think I need to buy food. Okay, um Resources? Where's resources? Create alliance, revenue, trade. Okay, so what I need is food being sold, order by descending, I think, or ascending. I guess ascending would be. I want the cheapest amount of food. Okay, um. Buyer wanted. So this is the cheapest food available be for how much how much money did I just spend on that <laughs> status enter your desired amount um not that many can I get like 50 maybe is 50 food reasonable let's go with 25 for right now now we'll go with 50 bye right you successfully accepted a trade offer. You bought 50 food and you gave. Okay, so now I have food. Okay, cool. So now that I have food, um, I need more. Let me check my revenue. Okay, so that's how that works. So now that I have my food, weighted average income. 12 cents per day, $1.50. National tax rate, 50%. National tax revenue, $60. Uh, so I get $725 per day. And then new player bonus. So gross income per day is like 600000 Oh, Jesus. That's for today, I think, only though, because I get the bonus. Anyways, expenses. Power plant upkeep, no expenses. Okay, so how do we resource manufacturing? Um, okay, so we don't have anything built, Jesus. So, can we, like, build some stuff? Okay, well, let's go to objectives. Welcome to politics and more objectives are the second stage of learning how to play the game. Before you can start completing objectives, please complete the tutorial. First on, logged on, there should have been a large yellow box on your nation page. If you were, were instructed on how to proceed, visit by finding the city's page, and then your capital city. Tutorial will teach you the basics of the game, like city building and recruiting a handful of soldiers to protect your borders. And then my capital city would be New Sanders. And then tutorial. This is your capital city. Okay, so now we're back at the tutorial. So how are we running in this episode? Almost 30 minutes. Okay. 
Um, this is your capital city. You'll see a lot of information in your city here. Your city population is decided by a multitude of factors, but most important is infrastructure. Your city starts with 10 infrastructure, but you want to expand it to grow your city and nation. In the table titled Grow City below, you see how much infrastructure and land your city currently has and input boxes to buy more. Buy 100 infrastructure by entering 100 into the input box and clicking go to advance the next tutorial. Okay, so buy slash sell infrastructure is 100 and then yeah did I just do it okay you pursue pistol okay so I purchased 100 infrastructure for and that land for three hundred thousand dollars okay but now I have more infrastructure in my capital city, so that is good. Um, population density, 43 people per square mile, I think that's fine. Crime is 0.19%. Average income, okay. So yeah, congratulations, about 100 infrastructure, you should have seen an increase in, in your population as well as your disease rate. My disease rate went up. Where's my disease rate even at? <laughs> the disease rate increased because of your increased population density. To increase your disease rate, simply expand your city. So now my population, my population is now over 10,000. Buy more land. Purchase 500 miles of land right now. Oh Jesus. Okay, so they really just want me to buy a lot of stuff. Okay. So. It's that I buy. Boom. Okay, and I just bought 500 square miles of land. That's there. You go. So now the city is a lot larger, <laughs> and 14 people per square mile. So now my disease rate should hopefully be smaller. Great job. Now your city has 110 infrastructure and 750 square miles of land. Now that your population has increased, you're going to need to feed your new people. Near the bottom of the page, you'll see improvements section. Click on resources link to show you the four resource harmony things you can build. Okay. So raw resources. Yeah. Okay. So here. Okay. So coal mine. Iron mine, lead mine, and farm. Farms that you to produce food. Okay, so definitely gonna want to build a farm, and then build an iron mine, I guess, too, to produce iron. I don't really want to produce coal or lead because I'm gonna um, our key war material. And then coal is use and trade. You know what? Well, I guess we can like use tr coal for trade. So we'll set up a coal mine to have that. Can't hurt, right? So, yeah. Um, do you have any available improvement styles? Buy more infrastructure, others sell improvements first. Okay, fantastic. You, now you've got a farm will produce for your people to eat. Farms produce food based on how much land you have in your city. So having 500 square miles of land will be very beneficial. Time to visit your revenue page. There's an easy link to the side of the nation. Okay, so we're going to go to the revenue page. And you made a revenue page. You'll see a big fancy table here with how much money and resources you're producing and using both per turn every two hours. and per day 24 hours all revenue is collected and all bills are paid automatically at set intervals every two hours or turn this page is simply so you can keep track of your production and revenue okay interesting um oh we get a hundred thousand dollars for completing the tutorial so that's definitely something we should do so now let's see Oh my, okay, well we are producing food now, which is cool, and then we should be producing some iron, right? Isn't there iron somewhere? Yeah, okay, so then we're also producing some iron mined, which is nice to be, it's nice to have that. Okay, so our nation is starting to 
you know, become a little bit more reliant on itself here. So you've made it to the revenues page. All right, so now we're back, going back to our nations page. And here we are in Protosland. Ugh. All right, money, okay. So in your notification box, you should see notes, a notification that says less than 1% of your score comes from your military. It's because right now your nation doesn't have a military. Military units are, uh, require city improvements before they can be trained or built. Right now your color, your nation color is beige. While your nation color uh, is beige, nations cannot declare war on you. For the first 14 days of your nation's existence, you'll be protected from attackers. After that, you'll be on your own. It's good to learn how to train units to defend your nation. Go back to the capital city to continue. Okay. So, the capital city. Alright, so we have to go... Ugh, they're really moving us around a lot for this tutorial. Okay, so I'm back to the capital. Uh, so now, just above the improvements section on this page, you see a bull text that says improvements. One of two. Okay. These are improvement slots. Each 50 infrastructure you have in your city unlocks a new slot. You currently have two slots unlocked, one slot open because one slot is occupied by a farm. Your Some improvements require p power to operate. You'll see it's denoted by the uh, electricity icon, lightning icon, whatever. Military improvements require power to operate your supply center. To supply your city with power, you'll need to build a power plant. Okay, so we need a power plant. Um... So we can get a different type of power plant, the Fortes power plant, but you'll want either a coal or oil power plant. These are to operate easily available. Depending on your economy, you'll be able to harvest either coal or oil, not both. Click on resources link and buy either coal mine or oil well, whichever. Okay. I mean, I'd rather do a wind. I'd rather do wind, but I guess... Uh, I can't do nuclear either. I think nuclear. I would rather do nuclear wind power. I don't want to do. Okay, I guess we're going to do. We have to do a coal power plant for right now. And then I don't have any improvement slots because I made that steel mill. So now I need to like buy more infrastructure. So buy that. And now I have more slots. So now I can build a coal power plant for one, and then to do it, I'm going to build a coal mine to power it, and then boom, there we go. Now we have power. <clears throat> so yes, awesome. Just, just like your farm, your new resource improvement will harvest either coal or oil every term. One of these improvements should be enough to keep your power plant supplied for the time being. Now you're going to need to build a power plant. Well, you'll first need more infrastructure. You're currently 202 slots, so buy another 10 infrastructure. You'll increase this to 2 out of 4. I just did that, right? So, does it want me to buy more infrastructure now? Even more? I mean, I'll do it, just because I think infrastructure is good to have. So, whatever. Marvelous. Okay. For instance, time to build a power plant. If you build a coal mine, you want a coal power plant. build an oil power plant. Click the power link. I already built a power plant, man. Okay, so you should see, okay, remarkable, your city now has power, you should not have power. So long as you have enough resources to fuel your power plant, it's time to build a military improvement. Click the, mili click the military link, okay. So now military, alright, so build barracks to proceed to the next step. So now we need to build barracks. And now we have barracks, okay. So extraordinary, I almost don't want the tutorial. tutorial. The last thing you'll need to do is to train soldiers. Visit your military page. You'll see a link on to the left sidebar under nation. Okay, and then, wonderful. Here on the military page, you'll see links to all units you can buy. For now, we're just going to train soldiers, so click on the big image that says soldiers. Okay. Phenomenal. On this page, you'll be able to train soldiers to fight for your nation. Barracks increase the amount of soldiers your nation can support. Each barracks increases maximum by 3,000 soldiers. However, you can only train one-third of your maximum soldier capacity per day. This means you can't reach full military capacity in just a few clicks. 
You must maintain a force at all times in preparation for war. Since your maximum is, is 3,000, you can only be able to train 1,000 soldiers. Enter 500 in the input box and go to train your soldiers. Okay, so 500. Enlist, uh, discharge soldiers. They said do 500, right? So, okay, I'm like... Okay, enlist slash discharge soldiers, and that should be it. Unbelievable. Okay, so now I have out of 100 active nations capable of attacking you, you will have, yeah, okay. So now I have more soldiers. Okay, unbelievable. You have completed the politics and war introduction tutorial. You have received 100,000 bonus for completing the tutorial. There is much more to learn about politics and war about Connor. You got the basics figured out. So, yeah, and then there's more tutorials, but I just got a $100,000 bonus for completing that. And I think with that, I'll call it a day. As you guys can see, there's a lot more to do in this game, and there's a lot of stuff. So I'll probably be working on that and try to build up the nation, but I'll call that the first episode. Tell me if you guys liked this and if you wanted to see me keep playing, and feel free to hop on and play with me. We'll call that the first episode, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.